You live your life guided by clocks, calendars, and memories. Every plan you make assumes that time is moving forward, one second after another, never stopping. Yet many great thinkers, both spiritual and scientific, have questioned whether time exists in the way you believe. They argue that what you call time may be a construction of the mind, a way of organizing experiences rather than a true feature of reality. If this is correct, then everything you think about past, present and future is only a perception and not the deepest truth. To understand why time may not exist, we need to look at insights from physics, philosophy and spirituality. Different perspectives all point toward the same shocking conclusion. What you experience as flowing time is not a property of the universe itself, but a way your consciousness interprets events. When examined closely, the flow of time begins to fall apart, leaving behind a reality that is far stranger than the one you are used to. 1. Time as a mental construction. When you think of time, you imagine hours, days and years. Yet these are measurements invented by humans, not features of nature. Your body relies on cycles, the rising of the sun, the beating of the heart, the pattern of breathing. But these are changes, not time itself. Philosophers have long argued that time is a framework you use to place events in order, not a thing that exists independently. You remember yesterday, you anticipate tomorrow, but both are thoughts in your present awareness. In this sense, time is more of an inner habit than an external reality. Neuroscience supports this idea by showing that your brain constructs a sense of sequence and duration from incoming signals. What feels like seconds or minutes is a process of attention and memory. Without consciousness to interpret events, there would only be change, not time. This suggests that time exists only as long as you are aware of it. Outside perception, there may be no flow, no past and no future, only a continuous present. 2. Timelessness in spiritual traditions. Many spiritual traditions describe ultimate reality as timeless. In meditation, prayer or mystical states, people often report the disappearance of time. They describe feeling present in an eternal now, where hours seem like moments or moments feel infinite. Teachings from Hinduism and Buddhism speak of the soul existing outside time, entering cycles of birth and death but remaining untouched at its core. In Christian mysticism, the divine is often described as eternal, where time has no hold. These traditions all point to a truth that your essence exists beyond the ticking of clocks. If your soul belongs to a timeless reality, then the daily sense of time is part of the physical body and the mind, not the eternal part of you. Sleep, dreams and altered states show glimpses of this, as you often wake with no sense of how long you are gone. Therefore, from a spiritual view, time is a surface experience. Beneath it, your soul exists in a reality where nothing is measured, where everything simply is. 3. The Block Universe of Physics Einstein's theories of relativity introduced a concept that challenges your ordinary view of time. According to relativity, past, present and future are not separate. They coexist in what is called space-time, a four-dimensional structure where every event already exists. This leads to the idea of the block universe, also called eternalism. In this view, your life is like a complete film. Every moment, from your birth to your final breath, is part of the real. You experience the film frame by frame, which gives the illusion of flow, but the entire film already exists. Relativity shows this by proving that time moves differently depending on speed and gravity. Astronauts, for example, experience time more slowly than those on Earth. This means there is no single universal clock, no absolute flow of time. If all moments exist equally in space-time, then your experience of moving from past to future is simply your consciousness traveling along the strip of film. Time, in that sense, does not exist as flow, but only as position within a fixed structure. 4. The problem of time in quantum gravity. Physics faces a deep conflict when trying to unite relativity and quantum mechanics. Relativity treats time as relative and flexible, shaped by gravity. 
Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, uses time as a fixed background. Reconciling these two has proven extremely difficult. Some attempts to solve this problem, such as loop quantum gravity, suggest that time may not exist at the most fundamental level. Instead, the universe may be built from discrete events or relationships without an underlying timeline. If this is correct, then what you call time is an emergent property, appearing only when you look at the universe on a large scale. At the microscopic level, particles interact without any need for time as a background. This points toward a reality where time is not a foundation, but a byproduct of deeper processes. In other words, time may be how your mind interprets order, not how the universe is structured. 5. Time and Entropy You experience time as moving forward, never backward. This forward flow is often linked to the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy or disorder tends to increase in a closed system. From this perspective, the arrow of time is tied to the growth of entropy. For example, you can break an egg and scramble it, but you never see it return to its original form. Such processes create the sense that time moves one way. However, the fundamental laws of physics are largely time-symmetric, meaning they work equally well forward or backward. This suggests that the arrow of time is not built into the laws themselves, but emerges from the specific conditions of the universe. Many scientists argue that the arrow began with the low entropy state of the universe after the Big Bang. Since then, disorder has increased, giving the impression of time flowing forward. If this is true, then time is not a universal feature, but a byproduct of entropy. To make this clearer, think about how memory works. You remember the past, but not the future and that difference comes from entropy. Events leave traces in one direction, ashes after a fire, footprints on the ground, but never in reverse. What you call the flow of time may be nothing more than the way increasing disorder writes records into reality. 6. Consciousness and the illusion of flow. Your perception of time flowing may be entirely created by consciousness, Studies of the brain show that your sense of the present is built from short windows of perception stitched together. You experience these windows as continuous, but in reality, they are snapshots joined by memory. Dreams reveal this clearly. You may dream of hours passing, yet wake to find only minutes have gone by. Your brain created the sense of time within the dream, but it had no relation to physical reality. Similarly, when you are deeply absorbed in something, hours may feel like minutes, or minutes like hours. This shows that time is flexible, dependent on attention and awareness, rather than absolute measurement. Therefore, time may exist only as a mental experience produced by your brain and your consciousness. Without an observer, there is only change, not time. Some neuroscientists even suggest that your brain delays perception slightly, combining signals into a smooth flow so you can act effectively. This means you never experience reality in real time. Instead, you live in a carefully constructed illusion of continuity, proving once again that time may be nothing more than a tool of the mind. 7. Cyclical Views of Existence Many cultures describe time not as linear, but as cyclical, in these traditions, existence moves in repeating patterns with no true beginning or end. The seasons return, generations repeat, and the soul passes through cycles of birth and rebirth. From this view, time as a straight line from past to future is an illusion. What you experience as history is part of a repeating rhythm, like a wheel turning. Each moment is both new and old, part of an eternal cycle. This perspective shows that time as you know it is only one way of seeing. When understood as cycles, time becomes less about flow and more about pattern. The end of one cycle is the beginning of another, making the concept of linear time unnecessary. In this way, many traditions suggest that reality itself is timeless, expressed through repeating forms rather than an endless forward march. For example, the Mayan calendar described vast repeating cycles called Bakhtuns, while Hindu thought speaks of Yugas, immense ages that return again and again. These systems reflect a belief that life is not moving toward an ending but turning endlessly through renewal, making time a pattern of recurrence rather than a river flowing forward. If you have made it this far, 
Let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.